Creating a data analysis workflow in Orange is simple. We start with opening the data in the file widget. Some preloaded data sets are available, so let's select Iris and explore it. Let's check out the data in a data table. I will select the data table widget and connect the file widget to it. Here we have 150 Iris flowers from the famous fishes data set. Flowers are described by four features, the length and width of sepals and the length and width of petals. Each flower is labelled with one of the three classes, a species of Iris, Iris setosa, Iris versicolor and Iris virginica. Now let's visualise the data. I'll connect distributions widget to the file widget. In this way, the file widget sends any data it loads to the distributions widget. In distributions, we can walk through all the features in the data. Petal length and petal width seem to nicely separate different species of iris. We can additionally inspect the data in the scatter plot. The plot that we see is a bit messy. Iris versicolor in red and virginica in green are not well separated. I wonder if there's any pair of features that would nicely separate the three classes. I can click Rank Projections to score all feature pairs. A higher score indicates a better separation of different species of iris. The best scored scatter plot with pedal length and pedal width really nicely separates data instances of different class. But there's some overlap of iris versicolor and iris virginica. I'll select data instances in the overlapping region. Scatter plot widget automatically sends the data to its output. Now I connect another data table to the scatter plot to inspect selected data instances. No surprises here, they are all either Iris versicolor or Iris virginica and seem to have similar values for all four features. We can expand the workflow with other widgets or save it for frequent use. But for now, that's it. We've learned that orange widgets communicate with one another and the changes in one widget are immediately propagated through the workflow.